was few hours ago. I still don't never expected what happened in the same few hours ago. I missed the release of Nadekano now. A Pabia finally bust out. He said, Oh, Nadekano must be released with immediate effect so that the people can actually go home. You will see everything the way it goes. Everywhere bust few hours ago. Now, the release of Nadekano finally enter into another level. You will see show the way it goes. So, let us stay connected to the end of this video. If you can share this video, just do well to share it. Nobody ever expected that they can bring Nadekano to the Senate few hours ago and they saying that Unadekano must be released. Now, the pulling the support for Unadekano, the senators and all, the pulling support for the release of Unadekano, if you can share the video, just do it to share it. And if you can share it, just like it as you're watching it. Like it, give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for you. Just stay connected. I'll play the full video. You will see everything the way it goes. Just stay connected. I'm coming back again. Welcome you back to Lachibong Wash TV. I got a bad news for you today. What is happening in the Christian door? Join now to make sense with like God. Hello my great and wonderful viewers. Welcome back to Lachbog Watch TV. For those of you coming across this channel for the very first time, just endeavor to click the red subscription button that is appearing on your video screen. And at the same time as you click on it, click the notification bell icon on the side. So that whenever we drop a new video in few hours time, YouTube will easily let you to know. Because a boss few hours ago, what Tinobu never expected have finally happened. They never expected that Nadekano can be brought to the Senate and did this as a result of the fact that Nadekano must be released. Now, a Pabio is finally stating that Nadekano must be released. Tinobu never expected this from a Pabio. Even the Senators in the House of Assembly and all, they now say that Nadekano must be released with immediate effect. If Tinubu did not want problem for himself, you will see show the way it goes. You will see how everywhere boss will as to go. But if I play you the video, I'm gonna play you the video now. You will see the way Simon Lepa had be disgraced and humiliated based on the fact that he said they want to liberate Bihafra on the second of December. But you will see show the way it goes. Even a small child disgrace Simon Lepa, the disgrace of Simon Lepa have finally come, and you will see the way everything goes in this very video. You know, the same Simon Lepa made a public announcement that Bihafra will be liberated on the second of December. And all this 2024, and this is coming in few days' time. And I said that's not enough. He unveiled a football team, and the football team he unveiled, he said, This is a Biafra national team. And oh, you will see everything the way it goes now. Based on the football team that he announced and he unveiled, you will see what follows. Simon Lepa have been disgraced, and when I come back, I play the video of how Nanakan appeared in Senate and all, and how they stage the release of Nanakan. Senators are in support of him. We can share the video, just where to share it as you're watching it. Share it with me social media platforms. Let it go viral. And if you can share it, just like it as you're watching it, like it, give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for all. Just stay connected. I'm coming back shortly. One boy that is living in abroad promised my people, Ndigo, that he will give them Biafra on the 2nd of December 2024. I hope people have not forgotten because that date and day is sacrosanct. While Indigo are still anticipating, waiting patiently for Biafra to be declared on the 2nd of December, the same God that promised my people Biafra has unveiled Biafra national team. He said this is Biafra footballers. Watch them. <laughs> Under 19 Biafra national team. Just look at them. Look at them. This is what Simon Eber and this group called Government in Desert set up, telling you that they have already have under 19 Biafra national team. These people are just mocking Biafra restoration project. They are mocking it. And we are here for real. We are here to restore the kingdom of Chukukikabia. We are here to restore the motherland, the last miracle on this planet Earth, according to the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. And we believed him. And Simon Eber is now with his group, mocking the struggle that many have died for. I mean, people are still dying on this quest of self-determination. And some of you are there sheepishly following him. Look at the football team. Look at them. 
according to him, he said that he was on telephone with them, encouraging them, strengthening them for what purpose? For these people that you are seeing now. These people you are seeing, did they resemble Biafrans? Did they look like Biafrans? You know, our people so much love noise making. Our people embrace lies and deceit. Like something is happening. Why nothing is happening? Our people just want people to be giving them hope. 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 We are not here for illusion. There is nobody that is going to give you hope. I believe in reality. Anything that is going to happen, you are going to see it physical. The idiot in Finland called Simon Eber was on interview bragging, bragging, raising shoulder that they have already set up on the 19th Biafran football team. And this is their here. This is the people you are seeing here. Our people, I don't know when we will learn and understand the lies of these people called government in desert. According to them, they played yesterday. But the question that I want to ask, which tournament are these people playing? And which country did they travel to? And who are they playing against? Thank you for staying connected. You can see obviously that a lot of people are not even in support of Simon Ekwa. A lot of people in the Biafra and they said they are not in support of Simon Ekwa. They are in support of the liberation of Biafra. But they are not in support of Simon Ekwa himself because they believe that this guy cannot be a leader. And this guy in question is fond of lies. He will be gaslighting Biafra and strife time. That's what they be saying. They say Simon Ekwa cannot be their leader. Now, they say Simon Ekwa unveiled the football national team of Biafra. And these people are white people. This Biafra people that he unveiled, that he called under 19, they are white. Do we have white Biafra France? You can drop your answer in the comment section. Do we have white Biafra France? Why is it that Simon Ekwa just go into Europe and organize some people, some white people, and call them Biafra national team and all? Why is he doing all these things? Is it this man that I want to use to library Biafra from Nigeria and all? Is it the same man that I want to use to library Biafra on the 2nd of December? Those are the questions that a lot of people are asking. They said they are in support of Biafra, but it is not Simon Ekwa that will lead Biafra. They said they are not even in support of this man. Even some Igbos are even saying that Simon Ekwa should be extradited from Finland, that they should bring him to Nigeria to come and face justice and all. You will see everything the way it goes. These are not even coming from other tribes. These are coming from the same evil. A lot of people are not in support of him. You can hear that guest speaking in that very video. He said, that boy that they call Simon Lepa, he called himself Simon Lepa, the self-acclaimed Biafra leader and all. Now, that person is an undibu. That girl is an undibu. You can see the way she actually disgraced and humiliated Simon Lepa because they believe that this Simon Lepa in question is not a serious person as far as the agitation of Biafra is concerned. They said it's not a serious person that a lot of people have actually lost their life due to the agitation of this Biafra nation and all. And they said Simon is taking the dead for granted that he just want the dead to just be feeling guilty wherever they are. He said the people that have actually fought for Biafra, all of them will not be happy where they are based on how Simon Empire is handling the Biafra agitation and all because they believe he's handling it like a child. And they said Simon Empire is fond of lie and is gaslighting a lot of Biafrans, is gaslighting a lot of evil people in the eastern part of Nigeria. That if they should leave Simon Empire to fight for the liberty of Biafrans, they said nothing will be done. Simon Empire will not be able to do it because he's fond of lies and all. Now, in the Kano case, is not even the game of the day again in the place of Simon Empire because Simon Empire is not even working towards the release of Nanekano in the game. But now, Nanekano case have defeated the Senate. They brought Nanekano to Senate few hours ago and everywhere was shut down. They never expected it. They never expected that another canon can be brought to Senate. Even a Pabio himself was chocolatized because he never believed that another canon case can be handled this way. Now, Tinubu never said this coming. I remember that Tinubu saw it coming, he would have stopped a Pabio, but Tinubu never said this coming. Now, they said another canon must be released with immediate pay. Even the senators are not in support of the fact that another canon must be released. You will see you in this video. If you can share the video, just do it to share. If you can share it, just like it. Just stay connected. Listen to what Simon Said. And during the video of what Simon Nepal is saying, you will see how Unanikano case was handled in Senate and all. You will see what they said regarding Unanikano and how Unanikano was brought to Senate. You will see everything the way it goes. Apabio isn't joking at the moment. Apabio actually made business with Bola Ahmed. You know, we just stay connected. I'm coming back again. <laughs> Few days, we have seen 
Upsurge of the Nigeria terrorists, military, and all their prostatas, accomplices in the in the killings of Biafra, they were all crying, and the cry is just started. The killing of Biafrans at will by the Nigeria terrorist state is no longer something they will do and go free. Biafra, killing of any Biafra come with a price, big price, and they are paying it. I want everybody to understand that for the very first time in the history of Biafra, you see what is going on. There has never been any time in the history of Biafra agitation, liberation, that you see what is happening today happening. Because you can't continue to do the same thing and expect a result. And because before you fight a country like Nigeria to protect your people, you must be able to study what Nigeria is all about. That is why in the medical field, when you go to hospital, you go to doctor, they will first of all conduct some kind of test to know what is your problem. What is your problem? You're having a headache, okay, come and take this, or you have a temperature, come let us give you a drug. No, that, that's a quack doctor, that's what they do in Africa. And that's why a many Africa can never progress until Biafra is restored and the beginning of civilization we start. So you have to identify the root cause of the problem before you can now know how to solve it. And that's what the Biafra Republic government in Eza have done. And that's what Mazin Nambikano saw in many of us. He knows that the people that surrounded him were a bunch of criminals, a bunch of idiots who doesn't know their left from their right. And then he began to shout 100 men. So first, we study Nigeria, the complicity of Nigeria, and how to break Nigeria. And believe me, I have not even unleashed the bigger secret. Many of you who followed after when Mazin Nambikano was kidnapped, you all remember the day I said a prayer for God to give us 1,000 men wisdom to face the challenges ahead of us. Believe me, from the beginning till now, we have always been spiritual. And before anything, and we are just using only five. We have not gotten to where we can even use 100, not to talk of 500. Today, they are listing the names of people who, according to them, is the problem of Nigeria. And you see, the Prime Minister of Biafra is one of the people that claim at the problem of Nigeria. Right now, Prime Minister Simon Ekba came to rescue Biafra from the Nigeria problem, which Nigeria and British created. Today, they look for who to blame. They work and from Sahel, all the way from Africa, to rig election and remove Jonathan from power. They came, this terrorist came, and they, they were not compensated. And then after that, the people who brought them from northern Nigeria decided to use them for the Islamic agenda. And today, the Islamic agenda is in a very high speed. They look around to who they are going to blame, and they are blaming Biafra. Biafra is not the reason 200 people were killed on Christmas Day in Joss. Plateau State. Biafra is not the reason why many women and children have been slaughtered, thousands of them, from January to 24th day of March 2024 in the northern Nigeria. Biafra is not the reason why Yoruba chiefs and uh, Obas are being slaughtered in their homes by the Islamic terrorists sponsored by Nigeria State. Biafra is not the reason why many people cannot go to their villages in the north, east, northwest, north central, southwest, and even in the southeast. But you see, all these problems they created was the, the problem that gave birth to Simon Eba today. Because I said at a point, enough is enough. I cannot continue to watch my people being killed, butchered, and their head chopped off by the terrorist sponsor by Nigeria State, the one that break the camel back. Is a story that I would like to share to people of Greece today. In 2021, after the kidnap of Mazin and the Kano, or in 2020 before he was kidnapped also, terrorists attacked my village, slaughtered people that I know, slaughtered women and men that I know, cut off their head. And these people, I know their family, I know their children, and I watched this video. One of the survivor of this attack is still alive today. He saw Nigeria army as part of those who came for that attack. From that day, 
the anger about for Nigeria multiplied. One of the victims of this killing by the Nigeria army in conjunction with the Fulani today reside in Libya. He is probably watching this program. His father was butchered, dead, cut off. This particular killings, I documented it very well. I sent it to the president of Finland. I sent it to Brussels during the time so-called Allen White was still doing lobbying with the IPOB name. We compiled those things, sent to the United Nations, sent to everywhere. Nobody has been held responsible today. The next thing was the journalist that reported this killing was banned from entering a Bonny State government house to report about it because they aired, they reported about it. So some of you may remember when Omahe banned journalists from entering a Bonny government house. One of those journalists, his mother, head was cut off. This is the first time I am sharing some secret. But today, from 2021 to this date, as you can see, nobody has been arrested because nobody will be arrested. I decided that in addition to all the killings of their friends, from Aba to the invasion of Mazina Bikano's house, killing over 28, according to people, they say they were people that were killed at numbers 100. They say it was 28 people that was killed in Oyendu's house. Kobu to Mpo Massacre, this is a direct killing by the Nigeria state. Not suspected terrorists or suspected headers. And I pray to God to give me opportunity to defend my people. That opportunity is here. And I am defending Biafra with brutality. Very brutal. Nobody will kill Biafra again. And live to tell the story. That's why anywhere they are in Biafra land, we will hunt them down. It is the best self-defense. In addition to that, the independent state of Biafra will follow it with diplomacy, political solution, and of course, the defense come with the guerrilla warfare. We are not backing down. You kill us, we kill you back. They have declared that secessionists are wanted. They call me secessionists. Well, you can declare me wanted. We have also declared you wanted. And any place you see these people that are killing our people from Hopus or Dima, arrest them in Biafra land. Any place you see them, any day Tinubu will enter Biafra land. Make sure he doesn't go back. We'll arrest them. Arrest him. The same thing goes to Shetima. From this day, the target of the Biafra Defense Forces is to make sure that those sponsoring the killing of the Afras will not be allowed to enter our territory. We must not give them a British space. We must not allow them to come to our land and kill and go. The time of that particular issue is over. We will fight them. Foot to tooth, we will fight them. Iron to iron, we will fight them. Gun to gun, we will defend our land to the last drop of our people. And they are running mad because somebody actually stood up to say enough is enough. For this to happen, we must understand that the enemy has planted this, you know, disagreement, disunity, fighting, and all that within the Biafra people. It is normal. It doesn't move me. It doesn't move anybody who understands what the government oppressors can do in order to weaken the collectiveness and the power of the people of the victim. And that they have done very well. Today, you see people who were fighting for Biafra many years ago. All of a sudden, they are not telling you that Nigeria, they are not telling you. And I want to make it very clear nobody owned Biafra. Nobody owned Biafra. Biafra is owned by everyone who believes in Biafra. Nobody is have the, the, the monopoly to restore Biafra. The only thing is that God has ordained some people, why? From giving back to them from the beginning, that they are going to be the one that God will use to restore Biafra. And today, we are here. That's exactly what we're doing. There is no threat that will move us. Our freedom is guaranteed. Guaranteed by the laws, international laws, the United Nations treaties, African Union Charter, and what have you. I am promising you today, in a matter of days, we will start the legal process for Nigeria for reparation to the Biafra government. That particular reparation will start a few days to come and the information will be public. We will fight Nigeria from all corners. We will fight them legally. As this particular declaration is approaching, we will make Nigeria very, very uncomfortable. It is going to be the only target we have is to make sure that Nigeria is uncomfortable on the declaration of Biafra. So we are going to fight them from African Union to the UN to any other entity that Nigeria is part of. The process, the next step of this Biafra liberation is the application for reparation. Thank you, everyone. We take you on the progress so far of the Biafra liberation. This is the Biafra liberation briefing. We have come this evening to update Biafrans on the progress we have made so far. 
I welcome you, ladies and gentlemen of the press, those of you who have seated on your various platform to listen to this particular briefing this evening. I welcome you, lovers of freedom, friends of their friends all over the world, those of you watching from the Biafra different media platform, the voice of Biafra, 97.5 FM in Biafra land, those of you listening to different and various YouTube channels and other social media platforms run by the Biafra Republic government in exile. I welcome all of you this evening. First of all, I would like to thank Biafra people for the progress we have made so far because of their resilience, their support, and the courage they have displayed so far. Without wasting any of your time, as we have waited for the past 30 minutes to start this particular briefing, I want to inform you today, Biafra people, that we have been able to have the state-by-state -state structure of the Biafra de facto government of the United States of Biafra. First of all, before going forward in bringing this particular update today, I would like to play a very significant video that many of you may have watched in the past. I want you to listen to that particular statement security agencies which is known as boko haram that were disguising as security agencies in nigeria has been killing their friends for ages this is one of the example and one of the reason we are armed today and of course as uh, usual during this time the biafra people were without arms and the president as you can hear him he doesn't care he doesn't want to watch the image and that is number one point i would like to to listen to and get from this point because this particular briefing today is going to touch a lot on the security the biafra forces the biafra resistance fighters the biafra liberation army and at the same time to the state structure that we are creating today all right the second uh, point i would like to i would like to bring to your attention this evening is what this man said he said let them organize themselves and vote for a state within a state and that they are trying to interfere in the nigeria affair that nigeria is not going to tolerate it anyway unfortunately for them and him uh we are now organizing ourselves we are we now have a state within a state and that's exactly what i have come to explain to be friends today for those who have been misled into supporting nigeria pressure group as we round up this night of tribute let it be known to all men that life is an inexplicable pattern of mystery where no man knows when he was born and when he will die. And this notorious fact is deeply rooted in the fact that every man is created by God with his works and the talents are the guides. For no man can grow above or beyond his destiny. For every man's destiny has a relationship with God. So let it be with Ifan Yoba. Let it be with the Newe Bomb politician. Let it be with our brother. Let it be with the great philanthropist, the great leader, the motivator. Let it be the lover of mankind and citizen of humanity. May he so rest in peace. And to you, Leo Bass, madam, and your lovely children particularly, I have not died before, and I don't intend to die soon. <laughs> But let me say something that I do know that the Ikemba Ujukus, the Kwemes, and these great leaders of note who have left us, since the spirit never dies, I'm sure, they're having meetings somewhere. 
and I can only imagine what kind of meeting is saying. And their meeting is Undibo. And Undibo, hear me, what is the likely thing these leaders are discussing now, including the youngest of them all, the Fanyoba. The question they're asking, Ibos, why do you play the politics of hate? Why do you hate one another? Ujuku recalled his quarrels with Ekweme, and now they say it is vanity. The one who recalled his quarrels with Ekweme, now they are in one place. And so, they are asking Ibos, may you em em embrace peace. Another thing that happened that is common with this great man is that before uh, Governor, before the death of Iwanyangu, Iwanyangu made a plea to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As if I went to Villa and begged the Nigerian nation. If Anyuba made a statement in the same line, I want to say to you, my brother, the human well please, senior president, convey this one message on behalf of these Hebrews who are seated, that the best way to honor this great young man is the release of Namdekalu. <laughs> so that Hebrews can go home and reorganize their place. And I know you, Senator Babio, that even if you don't want to do it, send this message. For the sake of your wife, who is our daughter, send this message and get us a result. Or else, your wife is not too far from taking back home. <laughs> your Excellency, Mr. President, we are particularly happy that you are always coming to associate yourself with things like this. Nigeria still remains very grateful. Thank you and God bless all of you. <laughs> Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. You can see the way they actually humiliated Simon Nekwa. You know, a lot of people have been seeing it right for 10. They said Simon Nekwa is a very big liar as it comes to the Biafra agitation thing and all of that. He have been known to be gaslighting a lot of Biafrans and a lot of Biafrans are actually tired of the lies that have been publishing and they have been making out in different media platforms and all. They said out of 100% words of Simon Nekwa, 70% will be lied. That's what a lot of people say. This is not my personal opinion. You can hear that girl that was speaking regarding the Biafran football national team and all of that when she was addressing Samenekwa, she actually addressed Samenekwa like a boy. She said, that boy that stays in Finland, that's the thing. A lot of people are tired of the lies of Samenekwa now and they're saying they're waiting patiently for December 2nd because he said he's going to have two objectives on December 2nd. And that December 2nd that he wants to ensure that he liberate Biafra, he will make sure that he make the legitimacy of Biafra to stand and he will legitimize Nigeria to Biafra and all. That's what Samenekwa actually said now. They waited patiently for it and as they waited patiently for it he went to unveil a football team that is called Biafran football team he said they are under 90 Biafrans and these people are white white people now tell me how do white people get to Biafran and are Biafrans white that's a question that a lot of people are asking now if you look at the video very well the guy that was unveiling the lies of Samenekwa after the lady that spoke was making a point regarding the football team of Samenekwa that was unveiled he said who are those people that Simon Epa Biafra National Under-19 team played with? Who are those people that they played with? Which country are they? Which tournaments are they playing? Which league is that? That's a question. It's not just enough for you to bring out football teams or football players, call them Biafra National Team and all. And I said that's not enough. They said, do they lose the match, but they tried and all. Now, where are those players coming from? How are they white? Is it that Simon Epa just go to Europe to just mobilize some European boys and give them some certain amount of money and give them some jersey that is inscripted the Biafran logo on and all of that? 
where on earth is this coming from? That's a question that even BM fans are asking Samanekwa. They said, this guy that is called Samanekwa should be extradited from Finland. That he should come to Nigeria to be prosecuted and all of that. That's why a lot of them are saying, why some of them are showing the Samanekwa the love that they ought to show him? That's what is happening now. The Igbo agitation have divided into two. Some people are now saying that Samanekwa cannot lead them. Why some are saying that Samanekwa will be their prime minister and all? Because they actually call him their prime minister in exile now. With the way Samanekwa is actually handling the issues of the Biafra agitation, do you really think Samanekwa will make sure that Biafra has been liberated and all? That's a question that they ask him because they said Samanekwa is actually putting out lies for the people, telling them what they want to hear, even when he's doing nothing regarding the Biafra agitation and all. They said Samanekwa is doing nothing, that he's just a total noise maker on the media space. That's what a lot of Biafrans, Biafrans who is not even other tribe. That's what Biafrans are saying. They said Samanekwa is just a noise maker on the media platforms or media news and all. They said he's not doing anything regarding the release of Nadekano and at the same time he's not doing anything regarding the liberation of Biafra. He's just gaslighting Biafrans. That's why Samanekwa came out some days ago and he made the publications on Twitter space. He made it known that the reputable woman Okonjo Iweala helped Biafra nation to secure a loan of 56 billion dollars and this man came out to make that publication and he was even praising the woman on the comment that he made regarding the money that she said the woman followed Biafra to borrow from World Bank and all but the woman came out within few hours after Simon Ekwa made that publication regarding the loan that Uncle Joe Iweala helped them to secure Uncle Joe Iweala came out few hours after and she debunked the news. He said, Samanekwa, I've not met her before that. She have not met Samanekwa before. And she's not even aspiring to meet Samanekwa. And she said she did not secure any loan from World Bank for Biafran and all of that. That was what the woman said. Now, a lot of people are now saying the lies of Samanekwa to be obvious and all. Now, is this how Samanekwa will liberate Biafran and all? Is this how Samanekwa wants to liberate Biafran and give them their Biafran nation in December 2nd, 2024? That he have announced earlier that's what a lot of nigerians are saying and that's what a lot of biafras are saying they said this man is just sabotaging all the effort of the people that have fought for biafra a lot of people have fought for biafra in time past and they lost their life they said this man is just taking them for a joke and he just sabotaging all their effort now you can see the way that man actually called out aquabio in the barrier of the senator you know if I know Barbaria was ongoing and the man made his own speech and when he was trying to round up his own speech, he pleaded with Akpabio that Akpabio should go to the Senate House and he should call out Sumobola and Metunubu so that Onanekano must be released. They said if Onanekano is not being released that the wife of Akpabio is an evil woman and it is very easy for them to collect their wife or their daughter from Akpabio. That was what the man said. Now everybody is not pleading with Bola and Metunubu to release Onanekano because a lot of people in the BM France they actually fall in love with Onanekano more than Samuel Kwa now they said Onanekano must be released. A lot of letters have been written to Bola Amin Tinubu and they say the same way Tinubu released the minors that were arrested in course of the embargo men protest even though they spent three months in detentions and all in Kujie prison the same way Tinubu released all those minors that were arrested in course of the protest few days ago they said Tinubu should give his order to release Unadekanu if truly he actually have nothing to do with the detention of Unadekanu that he should give the order that Unadekanu should be released so that peace can be restored in the eastern part of Nigeria because as far as the eastern part of Nigeria is concerned the eastern world is disorganized already the eastern part of Nigeria is disorganized already based on the fact that Unadekanu is absent there a lot of irregularities have been taking place a lot of directives have been coming from Samanekwa and it have been causing a lot of insecurity in the eastern part of Nigeria according to report now they said if Unadekanu can be restored back to the eastern part of Nigeria all the irregularities that have been taking place in the eastern part of Nigeria everything will stop that's why they said that the canoe must be released so drop up in the comment section of this video regarding all that was said in this very video drop your opinion drop what you have in mind say what you have to say in the comment section as i'm gonna discuss and that's what i did for you and sure follow me on my social media handles on facebook at lipo watch tv and lipo entertainment and on instagram at large Park. guess what guys see you in my next video bye for now Pastor, where the lion top be pastor? For like you pop, watch TV.
Pastor, where the bar, where, where? Politician, where the group pass me, say, for a leader. Why are you waiting for church? All I slide you back was the...